Hello, good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is for you guys, whenever you are watching this, welcome to my presentation of a wonderful, wonderful, adventurous, mysterious, indulging game called Stern, which I am excited to be a part of. Um, I'm just a streamer. I'm Benry TV on Twitch and also on YouTube. Benry23 on Instagram and Twitter, if you ever have any questions for me about either Stern or anything else in life. Um, but I met Tylaxu uh, through the world of streaming. Um, one of my dear friends, Belong Play, is his, is his obviously his username. Uh, he said to me one day, I've got a code for you and I think you'll really enjoy it. And I said, okay, I'm, I'm down to play any game ever because I have a, wide, a very wide variety of what I like and it's, it's boundless really. Uh, as long as there's nothing too grim in it, then it's all good with me. Uh, so I entered the code into Steam and I saw this, this game come up called Stern and I saw it was very small in, uh, in, in gigabytes or megabytes or anything. So I, I was quick to download it and also quick to jump in and play and then I knew as soon as I started to play it, I had to stream it and try and find out where he got this game from, where it came from, who it came from, how many people were involved. I wanted to know, I wanted to know everything because he said, you know, it's not, it's not available on Steam. This is just something that I want to give you because I know you game a lot uh, and I know that you have a lot of things to do with games and you stream so this is my gift to you and I am so grateful for that gift it has given me uh, opportunities to speak to a wonderful producer and developer of a game and to work with and bounce ideas off of someone who who has such a passion for a game for his game and games in general. It's not just uh, this game, obviously, that we've drawn from. He says that he's uh, the wonderful man. His, his name is Tylaxu. He is the producer and the director and everything of this game. He is one solo artist, if you like, of the gaming developing world. And uh, yes, so he's drawn from a few foundations from Stern. Is uh, Terraria, uh, Starbound and dead cells and you can kind of see that in the gameplay um, and what I'll be doing in a little while is I'll be going through some of the gameplay and some of the um, some of the areas we can go and investigate uh, when we get to it but yeah also film wise it takes a little bit from equilibrium in time and divergent so all of those little tiny bits and as well from the games, they're not full, let's take everything from it. It's, it's, it's very well thought out. Tylaxu has, has thought this game out. Uh, and through intensive chats with him, uh, I know very much that he's put his heart and soul into this game. And it's such a, it's such a blessing and a beautiful, beautiful time to be able to spread the word of Tylaxu's game and let other people see what's going on in the game. So if I've made this correctly, we should go to the screen. So this is where we start in the wonderful world of Stern. So you are a soldier. You've been, you've been fighting for a very, very long time, uh, but you don't agree with something that's going on and there's there's a bit of a mystery so I'm not going to go too too much into the mystery but you are now placed back on earth but it's a little bit different there are things in this world that you might not see in the normal world so as you can see already, we start by a shop called the Soul Eater, and I think I have some souls to spend. So down here, with the two little squiggles, almost yin yang, they're souls. We have 325. 
So at the top, you can see that it gives you a weak uh, regeneration of energy. Um, so energy is used for all guns, firearms, anything that is projectile. That is what energy is used for. Um, and so we can give, and then the one after that gives you medium energy regeneration. The one after that gives you a strong energy regeneration. And then after that, it moves on to um, regeneration of uh, health. So it gives you a weak uh, HP regeneration. There's also the, and, and progressively, so you can see from the green line it's it's kind of the health and the stamina bar is is the green line so the blue line um so you get more from kill uh, from killing enemies um you get more resources from fishing so this one's more about resources so this one's more about if you want to go into the game and get lots of lots and lots of resources build that up quicker then that is a good line to start for you Red line, uh, red line number one gives you an extra jump straight away. Now, I'm all down for double jumps, but I didn't realize how much I love triple jumps <laughs> quite so much. So, the second one after that is after your death, your souls do not fly out, which means that you get to keep your souls that you earned even though you died. Now, if you for, from, from my advice and my experience without that particular uh, one that, that perk, that buff the game's a nightmare <laughs> the game um, because you, you really want to express and you want to explore you want to explore everywhere but if you forget to equip that particular uh, buff you might die in un foreseen circumstances and lose all your souls and it's very sad it's very sad when that happens to you first time <laughs> but we'll carry on with the uh, with the line so the effects again uh, killing an enemy adds a chance to spawn a healing crystal fantastic landing um, causes a force wave so almost like a superhero imagine a superhero dropping down onto the floor boom creating that radius being fantastic um, this one shocks nearby enemies so if you walk past an enemy you don't have to hit with your melee weapon and you don't have to shoot with your uh, range weapon you can just walk by them and it gives them a little tickle which is we don't have that at the moment but maybe we can afford as you can see on um, the next thing that we can purchase is 287 souls can you see that just under there yeah fantastic you can so what i will do is i will spend um 287 souls as we have got 325 i will spend 287 on getting a little bit of health back because health is important and um, so we've unlocked that now that is part of our line that is part of our tree um, so now we only have 38 souls left. Woe is us. We will go and get more. Don't worry. So also I want to explain a little about this. A, bit, a little about this choose your path. So you can choose these in any order you wish. So you can determine your style of play. So whatever style of play you, you, you have. It is, it is acquainted for right there and in there. But if you think, oh, I've gone down the wrong lane, I didn't want to go down this lane. Wonderful Tylaxu has put in a reset button down here so we can get 960 souls, which is what we've put in so far, all back. And then we can start a new line. So there's, there's many options for chopping and changing different uh, your, of your, your path. It is is not a hundred percent set, so don't 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 fear which path you choose too much. Um, you can chop and change it whenever you feel like it. Um, and if you're feeling like that that double that extra double jump or third jump isn't doing anything, um, and you want to b 
beast it and you want to try and beat the game without losing any souls and just miss out that red line, give yourself a challenge or your friends. Uh, get everybody involved. Maybe have some competitions. Who can who can do the game without certain buffs, debuffs? Um, so crit hit as well. That's something which we have got on down here. So healthy enemies, ones that are at 100%, um, they will take crit hit damage. Um, and then I've put a buff on, which also critical strikes heal me. So if I'm feeling a little bit bad and beaten up, I can use, I can just go and attack a group of, you know, unsuspecting humans or things, and we then can see the effects of what happens. So that that's that part of it, the soul eater part. Then we have. The wonderful side, we haven't got very many at the moment because um, wonderful Tylaxu getting ready for the release of his game has done a wipe so he has made it all even more glorious. So he's added, I'll show you the things that he's added um, through our discussions and through our chats um, that we've had um, some really, really great aesthetic things have come out of our chats. So at the moment we've got an old sword and a chain sword. Um, the firearm we have the piggy gun which is fantastic and you will have a great time firing that at uh, if there is a human without a weapon they will turn into a pig when shot by that weapon. And then we have the old revolver. Uh, so also you get if you cast your minds back or now, maybe forwards to the Matrix. We didn't mention that in the uh, film-wise, so the equilibrium in time and divergent. Me and Tylax have also, we have a very big draw to the Matrix. We, are, we love the Matrix. So when I was doing, so the resources you can use for crafting um, and doing lots of stuff like that. So I was like, blue pill, red pill? That is, 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 that from, uh, you, is that from the Matrix? And it, obviously, Talaxu said yes. Yes, that is from the Matrix, Benry. Uh, and I, even more so, I was I was more engrossed because I had more of a connection with the game because of the I don't know the the, the yeah the 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 mention of something that I find myself very very good and very very uh, happy bringing to me. Um, so all of these games that I've mentioned before, the Terraria, the Starbound, the Dead, uh, Dead Cells, and the films also, all of them play a huge part in what becomes of Talaxu's game. So you can choose to go to a weaponry when you have enough money, when you have enough yen, I think it is, that is um, this currency. Um, you can purchase lots and lots of different firearms with lots of different perks on them you can also get firearms and melee weapons by beating bosses which is great because some of the weapons that you get when you beat the bosses will change your game forever <laughs> so here we can buy um, dungeon keys and we can also buy catacomb keys and for those ones they are for opening big boxes. We'll, I'll see if I can get to show you a catacomb key. Um, I already have one, which I think is why it's not letting me um, purchase another one. Yeah, okay. yeah, we got two. Okay, so you're thinking there's hammers there, and there's an odd looking key, and then there's a, another key. What do these all mean? So this is for the lava layer. So when you go into the different biomes of this beautiful, enchanting game, um, you will come across different rocks that you would need a specific hammer to make an impact in. So you use the blue units to purchase any of the hammers or the keys. So there's a lava key, which obviously then links to the lava hammer. So if you have the lava key and the lava hammer, you're able to farm every crystal lava that is in that particular biome. So we have the quartz and then we have the ochridium. 
I'm really great with these names. And the Mirrolith. <laughs> Mithril. So I've said that wrong many, many times. And it's, and it's okay to get things wrong. So then we got the Lava Key. And as you can see, the keys go up in price quite a lot. And the reason why, I think, is because you're not going to want to go into the areas where you're in the the final cave the dark caves um, with low level low geared stuff you just may have seen somebody blow up up here the reason for that was is because I put a, I put a mine up there earlier and I wanted to show you what it looks like when somebody walks over a mine the computer had a different idea by showing you anyway yeah. <laughs> but we have other weapons indeed we have other weapons we have other weapons like the wonderful little robot that follows us behind so he has his own complete menu so if he's feeling a bit poorly so his health is 53 out of 70 right now what we would use is duct tape as we have four of them his health goes back up to 70 which is fantastic so my because B Long Play and Tylaxu, the wonderful producer, developer of this game, they are with me at all times, always when I play this game, because I'm so grateful for these two humans um, that got me into this game and also to experience the game and to experience the community of, of what Tylaxu is, has been able to draw from from this game. Um, and gather as well so many wish lists um, in Steam. Um, I'm sure uh, Andre is going to go through some of those uh, statistics with you. I am the uh, I am the go and go and get them, go and get them uh, kind of the streamer. The one uh, the pitch for me was always going to be an interactive one because I the passion of this game and the, the love that's gone into this game is absolutely fantastic so what you're going to see now as you can see behind me is all of the credits all of the stuff that i am um maintaining just by beating these people um and you can beat them in any order you can you can go whichever way you want and i'll show you um now which map decisions I have made so far since the refresh so obviously it's, it's telling me to press F so if I press F we've just picked up a grenade fantastic somebody kept a grenade in their drawers for this time thank you for that person so <laughs> if, we, if, we, if we freeze it there so if you press tab that freezes the game um, and then you can bring up on oh no, the menu that ah, he's changed it the wonderful Tylex has done it so the game allows you to start in the streets of poor where we were just here we were just there in the streets of poor and the decisions that I have made so far have opened up the green little jelly baby is us we are the green jelly baby so we, I, have gone this way, all this way, so there's storage, there's lots of other little biomes and stuff that I haven't been able to go in yet because I'm just not strong enough, but I will be one day. And so there is a, <laughs> there's a new mud cave which I've just seen <laughs> here. Maybe we'll go and ex explore that together. Um, so everything that's blacked out, you may be able possibly to go there um, but all of this all of this area here and carry on look at this vast vast openness of possibility so all of this is part of the map no piece is left untouched um, and even we go up we go down we go we we carry on and so the map is absolutely, for a game of its size, huge. The game for, for a game of this size, for a map this detailed, and I don't know if you've noticed already, but the explosions are phenomenal. Um, the detail in which 
uh, that Tylaxu has been able to to put into his game um, and also the way that it's been so organically done and not stressful um, the way that with the like communication between myself and Tylaxu has always been very fluid like we've, we 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 haven't we didn't know each other before I played his game and he didn't know me before I played his game so we've come to a, a kind of we've come to a wonderful place of um, the game and the development of the game not only the development of the game but just are uh, also kind of building of, of a friendship over a different country I'm from the UK so I'm very sorry very sorry I hit the mic um, I'm from the UK um, Tylaxu is from Russia so it's 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 so wonderful I've, I've learned lots about Russian culture and all that sort of stuff but I know we're here for the game um, and I am talking about Tylaxu because he is a fantastic he honestly really is a fantastic human and he gives he gives a lot he gives a lot he puts a lot out into the world and it's, it's lovely to be able to speak on his behalf about his game that he's put so much into um, let me check my time is because I'm not allowed to go over <laughs> so um, how long have I gone on for now okay fantastic I've still got time to explain a few things so if we go down here and as I said this is this is completely uh, what the game is all about this is what the game wants you to do it wants you to explore it wants you to have some strange effect what was that where did it come from where did it come from I'm not gonna tell you that is something for you guys to explore and find out for yourselves but we will con we will fish as soon as you see the swirl hit the F um, there is a clip on my Twitch of the, the, the most minimal of swirls. And I press F. And I catch something glorious. I just caught a dead fish. Fantastic. Um, but yes, there is also a weapon that is held. You say it and it happens. The... the Okay, the the presentation just got a little bit juicy. Okay, this is the coral sword, which is so rare, so rare. Uh, I cannot believe this just happened. Ah, that's amazing. So the coral sword, which uh, I was just going to explain about, definitely. <laughs> I was going to say we're definitely not going to find the coral sword today, but the wonderful man Tylaxu has put weapons in the water, and. We have just found the coral sword. <laughs> I'm going to tell him about this and he's going to be like, I can't believe that. Um, so he's put a wonderful effect of when you go in the water. Um, that, um, obviously, the water effect. I'm going to jump that and I'm going to show you what the coral sword can do. So, at, you remember I said about the energy that gets used. If you see the green bar up there. The green bar is the energy that is used by your gun, so your right click. The left click is your melee weapon, but the coral sword has something a little bit special about it, and it's that it's got projectiles. I am so grateful, I am so grateful that we have got this sword that I can show you. Um, and you are able to see in this wonderful demonstration. So, what is different about um, what is different about shooting, and what is different about melee? Melee, you have to be looking the same way that you're facing. Whereas with shooting, if I was to put the cursor, as it, as we can see the cursor here, if I was to oh sorry, let me just deal with this crow because they terrify me. Um, yes. So if I was to put the cursor behind which way I'm facing, um, we can, he just turns around and shoots. Whereas if we, <laughs> if we did the same, if you're running and then you're trying to shoot that way behind you with the, uh, with the melee weapon, it will not work. But if you shoot behind you, it can, it will. He'll do a tiny little twist 
and then he will make his shot, take his shots, and uh, he'll get on with the rest of his day. But the Coral Sword, I'm so absolutely mind blown that we've been able to showcase the Coral Sword. I'm so pleased, I'm so pleased, because it shocked me, it stunned me. I'll let you see this one. So this enemy causes this effect, um, which again, many different enemies cause many different effects. So I'm only showing you a tiny portion of this game right now. There's, um, there's, um, there's so much for self-discovery in this game, self-learning. Also, what I'll show you is when we go on to the, um, the, the pause menu, essentially. I've just pressed escape. So, it comes up with this. It comes up with continue, user guide, options, save and quit. And you can choose your cursor color. And this was something that myself and Tylaxu had real fun sort of playing around with. Um, so not only did we decide, or he decided, sorry, to put the cursor color in because I believe we started with gray or black um, or white out of three, uh, have a guess. And the, the, def the definition and the, what you can do on the fly is just, I'm using pink right now, but if we go in here and we use green, we can kind of see that a little bit better. And the way that you would do the same thing to your soldier is to go to a workbench and you then would choose a different color for your soldier. Now that color will follow you until you get to another workbench, which is absolutely fine. Um, I've chosen purple because purple, I think in the bits that I'm going to show you, um, stands out really, really well. Now, in this section, for instance, the green that we've just equipped might not do exactly what we're wanting it to. So, all we have to do is go on. And the great thing about it is that you can also, you can, you can test it against the background as you go. So, that blue looks really nice. But as it goes to a square, I think we'll stick with pink or purpley. Purpley pink. Purpley pink. Wherever your cursor is pointed as well for the coral sword is where the straight line coral shot will go. See that? The other ones will disperse. Like that. Straight before your eyes. I'll just disperse. But, okay, so I've shown you, I've shown you this, where we are. So we were a jelly bean, we were in the, in the ghetto. So we're now down here, nearly in the catacomb entrance. So we could go left, or we are gonna go left, because I wanna show you. This is the way to go and do something to your workbench. So if we, we can collect, these have a re uh, regeneration uh, timer on them as well, so every time you do a run, um, you may be able to catch uh, the crystals. They also have a regeneration time, and so do the lockers. But if we enter this mode, so upgrade suit, hallelujah, is what I heard and thought when I found that. So, as you can see, you can upgrade your helmet for shooting spread. You can upgrade your chest armor for defense. You can upgrade your left glove for your ranged bonus damage. You can up upgrade your right glove for a melee bonus damage. You can upgrade your left shoe, which we shall do, for a kick bonus. So you know when I'm going up to the doors and I'm pressing a different button. Um, we've just upgraded that to level 2. And the right shoe, so when we're gliding, um, we're also invulnerable when we're gliding. So if you're wanting to go over spikes, or you're wanting to get through some gunfire, just to then go and get somebody, or an enemy, or get round an enemy, the glide shoe's energy is really, really important. So I would suggest trying to get as much chest armor and right shoe stuff 
uh, which I believe is gold, um, and that is copper uh, or silver. Um, and yeah, just trying to see if you can get as much as that. Um, but obviously, this game is a game for all to play in their very own way. Because some people might be lefties. They might want to go straight left. They might want to go straight down. They might want to... If you can go whichever way you can go and find a path. Now I'm going to open this box. If you remember I showed you um, we have two catacomb keys. And also a soda up. Which it gives you a double jump. And as you saw on that red line that we were talking about earlier. Um, in the stats and the buffs. That red line also gives you another jump. So we've got triple jump at the moment. And we'll have forevermore. <laughs> so that's great. So I'm going to open this for you and I'll let you see what it gives us. And then what it gives us. So it gave us a copper bar, an iron bar and a gold bar. But there was 16, 13 and 8. So it's not like it gives you just one at a time. Um, it's generous. Um, so these are little dudes that you have not seen quite yet. Um, there was a wolf with a, I believe, a rocket strapped to his back. Yes, there's a wolf strapped with a rocket on his back. Trying to kill me. And he succeeded. So once you lose all of your health and you die, you come back straight to this place so this is the exchanger if you go to the exchange I don't think we've actually got him no the exchange hasn't arrived yet but the weaponry uh, weaponry the rep we <laughs> weaponry um, will always be there and will normally stock the st the same sort of aesthetics all the way through so you are able to go and pick and choose when you would like to do that uh, the master keys again you can go and see how many green it's you've got how many blue units you've got um, and then you can you can you can choose which you go and buy but remember we didn't lose any souls in that run because of and only because of that red line that we we chose right here so our next our next um, evolution if you like our next skill our next buff is going to cost 401 souls so we have 241 at the moment um, you may think whoa that's crazy that's that's gonna take a long time to get all those souls if you are exploring all of this wonderful wonderful environment all these different biomes that there are as as you may have sort of seen and guessed with the with the the keys there's a lava one so expect the unexpected in this game in general I would say expect the unexpected um, for sure so the lava key the sacred key, key the quartz key and the cave key so that unlocks the dark caves and I made sure in the streams that I have done on my personal stream, Bemi TV on Twitch uh, and on YouTube, so I've made sure that when when we were when we were just mucking about playing the game, chilling, um, we would we would we would do it all the way through as properly as we could. So, as I would just like to finish my little uh, my my pitch to you, wonderful wonderful humans out there in the world. I just want to give a massive, massive thank you to Tylaxu for being just the most wonderful listening, hearing person, human that he is and that he has so much passion for his game. He's already planning to, he's already working, sorry, on Stern 2 because he didn't have enough space for this to put all in this and I think that's I and I said to him we've we've said we've said to each other you know maybe that's a blessing maybe that that is for Stern 2 and all those great ideas that we can we can collaborate on and we can work through we can get through 
that can all go into Stern 2. But for now, wonderful people, wherever you are in the world watching this, thank you so much for letting me speak on this stage, for letting me be here, for letting me pitch this wonderful, wonderful game on Stern. Go and get it on Steam. Check it out on Steam. Check it out. Put it in your wish lists and wait until it arrives and have fun. Peace, love and games to everyone. Thank you so much and I will speak to you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.